so there's the web address to check for the software update for this Uconnect hack. Um, I put in just a VIN number from a Jeep that we had down in the in the uh, lot that says it qualifies for the update. So we'll get started. Continue. Okay, so it asks you to install this Kame Net Session interface, which I just installed, just following the normal directions for installing something. And I installed it onto this Jeep extra USB drive that it tells you to do. So, and then we're going to go back here to our software updates. And this is the Uconnect update. For the vehicle, we're going to go put it right into the external hard drive or the external flash drive. And then let's open a new tab with the instructions for how to apply it, which is a PDF, apps button, tools, settings, system information, system information, software. download the software to USB, we did that. Blah, 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 we did that, we did that, we did that. Alright, we're in the 2014 Jeep Cherokee with the software update for the Uconnect system on our flash drives. It's supposed to be a 4 gigabyte flash card, although the ISO update only takes up like 600 meg, so I don't know. If you have a key um, that you use to start the car, turn it into the run position. If you have a keyless, um, you know, push button start, you keep your foot off the brake, press it twice, the button, not the brake, and that kind of puts it into uh, the equivalent of run mode here. Wait for it to, uh, we'll wait for it to load, and then we should be able to just Put the USB card in and it'll update automatically but we're gonna try one thing real quick which is we want to make sure that the settings that we use that the system that we upgrade to is a higher number than the system we currently have just in case we did something wrong so the current version of our software is 14.32.3 I'm gonna write that down here 14.32.3 and I'm gonna take, you unplug any kind of USB devices or SD cards or anything from uh, the vehicle and just go ahead and put the USB card in there. The update image is valid and ready for installation. Do you wanna update the app software from 1332.3 to 1517.5? Yes. Now it's gonna take a little while to uh, do that update. Once the update is once the update is completed, you connect will reset and reread the card just to make sure it's done everything right. So we'll just wait for it to do that. Looks like it's doing something. Whoa. Hack the planet. Software update, waiting for USB device. So yeah, now it's rereading the USB to make sure it's doing everything right and it's gonna start updating. We'll just wait for this to um, complete. Okay, so we're still in the car. It's at 54%. Uh, it's taking kind of a long time. So uh, just so you know, you're not supposed to touch the brake. You're not supposed to touch any controls or press any buttons. You're not supposed to open the doors. So if you all pile into the car to update the software, plan on sitting in here for... Uh, a you're while. Stuck. Yeah, you're stuck yeah. for like a while. Probably like 10 or 15 minutes, I'd say. Maybe 20. Anyway.
We'll check back so in. How many, Kyle? Probably turned off. At least ten so far. Ten so far. Okay, so we're at 98% now. It should be done any second, and we'll go with the rest of the the finish up because there is a process after it's done updating. So what should happen is it should tell us, hey, we've updated. Are you sure this is what you wanted to do? And we'll hit yes. And then there's there's a weird kind of electromechanical process that we'll follow, and we'll go through that uh, step by step here. So let's see what happens. Oh, it's restarting. That's a good sign. We didn't break it. We didn't break it. Yeah. Maybe, did we brick the Cherokee? <laughs> it's moving by itself. <laughs> Attain sentience. Yeah. It's now a transformer. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Skynet activated. <laughs> so it looks like it's loading here. Don't open the doors. I have to tell everyone that to do stuff. Uh, system information. Okay, so we're at the fifteen seven. Person. We're at fifteen seventeen five. It's it's updated. That's good. That's exactly what we wanted. Now here's the process. You remove the USB Is stick. Is it still loading stuff? No. All those are gray out still. So. All right. Well, Everything's wait. grayed out. Yeah, well, that's wait. Uconnect registration Wi-Fi. It's probably it's acquiring the signal right now, so I don't really. I'm gonna go. I'm. I'm gonna say I don't care about that. Okay. We ruined the car. Totally. Broke. I know a great dealership that can fix it. So, I'm gonna pull the USB stick out. Yeah. Nope. And then here's what we do. Ignition off, and then we open and close the driver door. Oh. And then, ah! That's bad. No, it's not. It looks bad. Well, it looked kind of bad, but we're still same same software. So here we go. We turn it off. Shut up. We turn it off. This is off on the uh, button. Ah, okay. there we go. I couldn't yep, see it going. The okay, vehicle's off. Open the driver door. Close the driver door. Don't reopen any other doors for 60 seconds. Kyle, you got a stopwatch on your phone? Uh, yeah. Is there an app it. for that? I believe there is. So we're going to wait 60 seconds and then. After the 60 seconds is over, we are going to turn on the vehicle, turn it off, open and close the driver door, and wait 60 seconds again. Once we're done with that process, we should be complete and the update will be complete. Now it said turn on the ignition, so I'm going to turn the car actually on on. There we go. I'm going to turn that off. And then we're going to turn it off, we're going to open the door, close the door, 60 seconds on the clock. Oh. Alright, so we've done everything we needed to do, we've turned it on, turned it back off again, ignition, this, that, open the door, close the door, waited 60 seconds each time, and uh, that's it. According to the Uconnect documentation, that's what we should do. So we should be able to exit the vehicle. We checked the system information. The system was updated. This is how you uh, protect your Jeep or Hackers. Chrysler project or Uconnect system. If it is vulnerable, that's how you protect it. It's a bit of a process, but it's pretty simple. Start your next adventure at Park Chrysler Jeep. Just minutes from Minneapolis, there's only one Twin Cities dealership that has product specialists who are actual specialists. We drive Jeeps, modify Jeeps, and we'll obsess over your Jeep as much as our own. Discover your new Jeep Wrangler, Cherokee, Grand Cherokee, or Renegade now during our summer clearance event. From our backyard, your driveway, there's only one Park Chrysler Jeep.